Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. I am so excited for this video. This is a puzzle haul, but I made it a little bit of a challenge for me because I feel like when I purchase puzzles, I easily overspend or I see other people's hauls and I'm like, wow, there's so many puzzles and I want to have like that many puzzles too. But it gets pricey buying a whole bunch of new puzzles. Now I haven't ventured out to find some thrifting or used puzzles yet in my area, but I was on Puzzle Warehouse's website and I stumbled into their sales section and I thought it would be really interesting to see how many puzzles I could get for $100. And let me just tell you, it's quite a bit. I spent $96 that included tax and I got, I think, 10 puzzles, which I think is pretty great. So let me just show you all the puzzles that I got. I am so excited for this. I got some really good brands and some really good finds. And one I know is a little bit pricier. Um, it was $20 in the sales section, but you'll see why in just a second. So I probably could have gotten more, but I tried to get things that I truly wanted to do and not just try to get things that were cheap. You know, so they all are really great options that I found in the sales section. So I'm excited. Let's just get into this and see what I got. All right, I'm doing in no particular order. I'm just grabbing these from the box. I still have it right here next to me. I haven't even unboxed them yet. So we're seeing these first together. So first one we have here is by Buffalo Games. Oh, look how bright that one is. Definitely my illustrated style, you know. So this one is from their Amazing Nature line. It's called Tiger and Crocodile. Only 500 pieces, but I loved the image so much. I think this retailed for around, I'll put all the prices in the corner so you can see how much it retails for and what I purchased it for. So I think most of these I got for like 50% off, which is pretty great. In general, Buffalo Games usually has a sale section going on on their website. Um, usually you can get them between like five to seven dollars, maybe up to 10, depending on the piece count. But I just like that I was able to get this really fun image. Totally looks like a great night in. You may see it in a puzzle roundup video. I don't see me doing a dedicated one at all. So if you want to see more puzzles that I do that maybe I don't feature here on my channel, go ahead and check out my Instagram. I'll put that in the corner as well so you guys can see. But love the image of this one. And it's just really sweet. I like it a lot. Next, I'm so, this one. I am so excited for. I've tried a few from this brand before. And it's called Haya. I always pronounce it wrong, it's German, and I know someone's going to correct me. I think it's pronounced Haya. I always say Haya, but I think it's Hi, like Hi, yeah. Anyways, let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, but I've tried a few from them in the past. I've tried some more difficult puzzles from them before, and they tend to run pretty dark in their coloring, so I'm hoping this is not crazy hard. But this is from a German-based brand, and it's called Fauna Fantasies. Look at this one. And it's from their Fauna Fantasies line, and it's called Jackalope. So it's like this deer that's also a bunny that's also a bird, and it just looks really cool. I love this image. I love that bit of sky in the background with the trees. I love the flowers. Like this puzzle is so lovely. Love that I was able to get it for like, I think it was 50% off, which is awesome. And the colors just look beautiful. Again, I have done this brand before. I have enjoyed them, but they do run a little bit on the crumbly side, a little bit darker than what you see in person. Um, but it's okay. I'm excited for this one. I think this one is going to be so much fun. And I love that it was in the sales section. So that is awesome. Next, we have this one here, which is from a brand that I've been slowly gravitating towards, and that is Vermont Christmas Company. Now, I think I've only done one of their actual Christmas puzzles, but I have done others of theirs in the past two. But this one, oh, look how bright and colorful this is. This one is a thousand pieces. It's called Dubrovnik. Dubro, du, Dubro, Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik? Oh, boy. Okay, my pronunciation people, let me know. But um, it's this is really pretty, again, the sky here, I love. So a really beautiful image. I really like this brand a lot. I have had no really big gripes about the brand. It's a little bit shiny, that's about it. But as far as quality and pieces and coloring, absolutely love and I'm excited for this one. So um, again, a really beautiful image and I love, you know, it's more traditional, but that's okay. I feel like I'm branching out just trying Whole bunch of new stuff. 
This one here is by brand Willow Creek Press. I've never done them before. It's just called Craving Donuts, which I think is really interesting about this box is that the brand name isn't actually on it. So that is really weird. I just noticed I had to read the little receipt thing so I could see, but look at this one. I love the colors of this one. This one looks pretty easy. It is 500 pieces. This is gonna be done in like an hour and a half, maybe, you know, but it's really bright, very colorful. Like I never did the brand before but super cute very like springy with the colors and i think that, again it would be pretty easy just like a collage puzzle all the donuts have a different texture to them it reminds me of a, a truffle one that i had done before but it was like a lot more donuts this one's only 12 only a dozen so i think it'll be fine i love the colors and if you've done this brand before let me know um but again i've never tried them next we have this little guy, they had a whole bunch of different ones, but I only got one, and it is an escape puzzle by Ravensburger, but it's one they're only in like 99 piece ones. I wanna say it was like $4 or $4.50 on the sales section, which I think is pretty good for a little mini puzzle, and it's one of their exit escape puzzles. I do have one that is the full size version of an escape puzzle. I haven't done it yet, so I'm kind of curious about maybe putting both of these in the same video to see what the smaller one is versus the bigger one. So this one is escape room number four. There looks like on the side there are six options, and mine is the wine cellar, which is very fitting. Um, but there it is. I'll try to find a bigger picture so you can see. Um, but it's only 99 pieces and I thought it would go really well with that other puzzle for a future video um, but super cute and fun I love how small this is wanted to get pretty much all of them but I was trying to stay within like the hundred dollar mark so maybe I'll go back and get more if you're interested in me doing a little video on it let me know but I think it was super cute and you know I love a mini puzzle I feel like it'd be good for like a road trip or going camping something like that um, but moving on, we have another small little bitty guy. Um, this is part of the Mini Picks puzzle line, and they're supposed to be like teeny, teeny, tiny puzzles. And it's from this one is called Puerto Rico, and it's like this really tiny little like size of a deck of cards. The puzzle pieces aren't crazy small; they look like a micro puzzle type size. But look at the bird! Oh, I love it so much. Um, I feel like I'm going to really enjoy this one. Again, I like micro puzzles. I don't think this one, and this one is many pieces. I don't sure, I can't see the piece count on here. Um, but it's cute. I like that it's again, very travel friendly, good for the purse, good for backpack. Maybe if you're like at a layover or something, you just need something to keep you occupied. I like that it doesn't take up a lot of space, you know? Um, so this is totally up my alley. I love mini puzzles. And so I'll probably do like a reel or something like that. I don't think I'll actually like feature here it on the channel, but super cute. And I want to say again, it was like four or five dollars on the puzzle warehouse website. Um, moving on, we have this guy here, which is Puzzledy, and I have done a couple from them before, and they're good, but I don't think I would ever pay full price for them. I did buy one full price, and the quality was okay. It has paper backing, a little bit on the crumbly side, very glossy, but the colors are nice. They're nice and vibrant, and I love the images. So I have done one that was full price, and then one I got thrifted or swapped, something like that. This one I got half off, which I think is a fair price for it. Um, so this is called Main Squeeze, and oh, look at that one. I love this image so much. I love the colors. It's very similar, or at least the same line of the cacti one that I had done a long long time ago it was like one of the first videos on my channel and I really enjoyed the image but the quality just wasn't something to write home about especially for the price points so I love that I was able to get it half off because I really do love the images I just don't think I would pay that price for it you know um so this one totally at my alley would definitely do it and I'm excited for it again another little 500 piece one which I feel like is good because I pretty much depleted my whole 500 piece collection when we were in temporary housing so I'm glad that I'm able to like stock up a little bit and have some more like in the evening type of puzzles next we have this big one which is this was kind of a risky one for me. Again, not typically my style, but I liked the image a lot and I feel like I was going to love it. This is a 500 piece one by Senso, another brand I don't really gravitate towards buying new because I've had very mixed experiences. This one is called Rock Creek Crossing 
And it reminds me of a place in New Hampshire that we go to a lot when we go home to Maine, um, which my parents live right on the border. But it has a covered bridge, there's this river here, there's a deer crossing. I love the coloring of this one. And again, it's very traditional as far as images go, but I kind of like it. And I like that it's just very, I don't know, nostalgic a little bit because of the location that it looks like. And I like it a lot. Um, I also realized recently, I forget which puzzle I was doing. I think it was the Portland Headlight one that I love to do water. So I think this is also why I liked this one a lot. Because it has water, it has a nice little sky bit over here. And there are some darker sections, which I'm not super keen about, but I think it'll be fun. And again, only 500 pieces, so I'm not too worried about it. Next, we got this one, and that is from Pomegranate. I love this image so much. So this one is called Eiffel Tower. Again, a 500 piece. The artist is Robert Delaney. And look at the bright colors of this one. Oh, no, Oliver. Can lay down? Look at the coloring of this one. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Only 500 pieces, not going to be hard at all. And it just looks really fun and modern. And I like the colors a lot. So this one is going to be totally up my alley. I think it's going to be awesome. And I love that I was able to get it on sale because um, that is such a good brand for the price. And I'm excited. So um, that's a, another good one. So the last one that I have here is one that was $20. So it was a fifth of the whole entire budget. But I thought it was such a good price and it is a wooden puzzle that is 500 pieces by Treffle. Look at that one. They had two that I was really eyeing. There's one that was like colorful flowers, like a rainbow flower um, gradient. And then they had this one, which I liked as well. I love the sky of this one. I think that's why I leaned this way. But this one is called, this one is called Palace of Winchester. And it is like a UK scene, you know, with the double-decker bus. Love the sky, love the bridge. And I just thought it was such a good price for a wooden puzzle. The box seems really nice. I haven't done a puzzle, I haven't done a wooden puzzle from them before. And I feel like I'm just in like the wooden puzzle phase right now. But I love the pieces on the back look really nice and thick, which is really cool. Um, really there's a few different interesting shapes for a wooden puzzle, which you often see. And I just think it's really cool, you know? It says it's from May 2022, so it's not like a new release, but it's new to me and I'm excited for it. And I was able to get for $20 for a 500 piece wooden puzzle, which is incredible for a price. So I'm excited for that. It also says it's made in Europe, which is also really cool. because so you think something that cheap for a wooden puzzle may have been made in like China or something like that, but it wasn't. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, those are all the puzzles that I got for under $100 from the Puzzle Warehouse website in the sales section. I thought I found some really good finds. Let me know if any of these you want to see a video on. Oh, I'm so excited. Are there any other websites that you need to know about for good sales sections? Do you like this type of video? I just think it's really cool that I was able to get so many brand new puzzles. Not just like new to me, but like brand new puzzles for under $100. So I'm excited for it. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new here, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel and I have so many more videos to come and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a good day.